In chemistry, a catalyst is a mover of molecules, a substance that potentially triggers an unstoppable reaction. Frances Arnold is a catalyst. She's also unstoppable. With boundless energy, Arnold is out there, reshaping major industries, using, of all things, the building blocks of life. Arnold grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, refusing to conform to expectations. In high school, she cut classes to hitchhike to a war protest and work as a cocktail waitress at two jazz clubs while still underage. At just 17, Arnold left home and earned a living as possibly the youngest female yellow cab driver in Pittsburgh. Soon she applied to Princeton with subpar high school grades, but nearly perfect standardized test scores. A creative essay about her disinterest in traditional high school classwork tipped the scales, and Arnold got accepted. Some people uh, accuse me of practicing chemistry without a license. <laughs> but I think chemistry belongs to whoever does it. Belonging or not, years later, as a new assistant professor at Caltech with a PhD in chemical engineering, Arnold began toying with a new kind of chemistry, an idea with the potential to change how we make detergents, cosmetics, fuels, and the pharmaceuticals that save and prolong our lives. The $4 trillion chemical manufacturing industry faces a fundamental challenge. Making complex chemicals like some life-saving pharmaceuticals can take many steps, using toxic metals and solvents. In commercial manufacturing scenarios, with production volumes serving billions of consumers, this means inefficiencies, environmental impacts, and enormous costs to manufacturers. Many people are trying to figure out how could I make this same complicated molecule that will treat a disease, but with a simple one-step process in water. Even in the late 1980s, Arnold realized the consequences of such a discovery would resonate worldwide. It meant cheaper, greener commercial chemistry, and she had a starting point, biology. Your body is creating complex, life-saving chemicals in a single step right now using substances called enzymes. If you have the right, precisely designed enzyme, you can make a life-saving drug from a more common chemical in a single stroke. But the complexity of enzymes makes them virtually impossible for chemists to make. Arnold took a page from nature's playbook. Nature doesn't design, nature evolves. DNA evolved over billions of years to make purposeful enzymes. So Arnold pressed forward with an ambitious idea to harness the creative powers of evolution itself. Bombarded by cynicism from colleagues, Arnold shut herself away and persisted in the quiet of her lab. She added mutations into bacterial DNA and selectively bred the bacteria, encouraging them to evolve to produce complex, purposeful enzymes that made new types of chemistry possible. In 1993, she announced her success. Her critics were stunned. Bypassing billion-year timescales, Arnold's method, called directed evolution, produces enzymes that make complex drugs easy to mass manufacture, that make detergents and other essential products cheaper and better, and that even produce renewable liquid fuels for airplanes and diesel trucks. Humankind now has a new set of tools that open the door to a greener, more capable, and less costly era of chemical manufacturing. An achievement with global implications and the power to affect billions. After decades of breakthroughs in directed evolution, in 2018, Arnold became the fifth woman in history to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. I enjoy what I do. I work with brilliant young people every day whose lives are just starting out. And I'm blessed to have the ability to share their lives with them. When a student comes to my office and says, look what I found, look what I discovered. It's, it, it's what it's all about. <laughs>